and that is the Carlsberg Circular Community. So the Carlsberg Circular Community was announced actually at Davos uh, this year. Um, I'm the project coordinator who's working uh, with uh, Simon Hofmeyer Boas uh, at um, Carlsberg uh, in Copenhagen. And basically, they have an existing supplier community that consists of some of the largest suppliers of uh, the beverage industry. So for example, Owens, Illinois, which is the largest supplier of bottles to the beverage industry. Rexham, which is the largest supplier of aluminum cans to the beverage industry. And what we were able to do was to leverage that into a circular community to get them on board with optimizing their materials. And we're in the process of doing that. Why were we able to do that so quickly? We were able to do it so quickly because Carlsberg has an excellent relationship with its suppliers. And they have a few key suppliers who want to keep Carlsberg as a valued customer. And they see the sense in optimizing their materials, not just for Carlsberg, but for other customers as well. So here was an example where we were really able to leverage very large companies together with each other. That was a really unusual and quite happy occurrence, and it is a work in progress. So the answer to your question is, it depends. It depends on the company. There is no rule, and that's why we don't say step one, two, three, four, five. We say here's the menu. We treat it like a good meal. You know, there's uh, an appetizer, a main course, and a dessert, and you can pick the ingredients that work for you. There is no magic formula. There is a framework, and the framework is the cradle to cradle design framework. But after that, the innovation tools, you pick and use what you see as appropriate for the situation. Does that answer your? Yes. Yeah,